Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. Draft time, baby. Okay, what's well, so a rare? Uh, Reckless Crew, create X21 Red Dwarf Berserker creature tokens where X is the number of vehicles you control plus the number of equipment you control for each of those tokens. You may attach an equipment you control to it. That seems like garbage. Sorry, artifact, creature, or enchantment and opponent controls. That player may put a permanent card from his or her hand onto the battlefield. That's really bad. Ooh, Herald ain't bad. Pull the Forge Master. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return it to its owner's hand. Uh, yeah, Cole seems really bad, especially, mm, I'm going to take the elf payoff, sacrifice piece of the haunted edge, sure, creature rest in the worst knowledge you control, actually this ability only a time you cast a sorcery, uh, yeah. enter the battlefield, left two target creatures, get plus one, plus one, and extract one until end of turn, yeah, this is just like a powerful card, with a uh, theoretical good payoff, right? Top five cards reveal an elf warrior or Tyvar. Yeah. Elf warriors and Tyvars are all good things. Human warrior. Other creatures you control get. Hey, what up, Will? Helm? How you doing? Other creatures you control get plus one plus one over Lanches Battlefinder you control. Make a one one. That seems insane. I'm just going to take that. Gain two light Dratsu cards. Blue white, blue black. That's the mill one. Oh, return creature from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Eh, that's not bad. Gain three life, draw a card. Uh, just a two two with life link. Excel target creature, artifact or creatures. Control gets a one one blue, and then you can foretell it. How's your day been going? Well, uh, Raven form. Yeah, I already looked at Raven form. Yarl. L. Oh, this is the. Yeah, that's dead eye. Uh, Cinder giant dies seven damage. Yep, that thing. This weird foretell creature. Ooh, glittering frost. Hope the glittering frost wheels. Fall of the imposter. Put a plus one plus one counter on off the one target creature. Exile a creature with the greatest power among creatures. Target opponent controls. That uh, seems like an insane. Uh, wow, this person's rare must have been super good. This seems like an insane saga. I think we should just stick green white. Fall out. Same just rail. Chooses a color, goes infinite. Um, this one makes two elf warriors, and it kills a dude. That one blightnings them. Enters the battlefield, target creature opponent controls gets a minus. Counter target spell converting it costs four or greater. Sack a, sack a dude. Target attacking creature gets plus three plus three and trample. Op op, can't be beat. Uh, boast, you get to untap it and put a plus one plus one counter on it. That it seems insane. Uh, Master Scald enters the battlefield, exile target creature card from graveyard. That card seems okay. If I can take Sculptor of Winter, because I want Snowland so that I can get this King of Skemfar off too, right? Like, this is just a Mana Dork with other payoff. That's, uh, this card ain't great. If we're not, like, full black. I think we want to stay green-white. We're definitely like main green, so picking a white card doesn't seem ins insane right here. King Herald's Revenge. Pro plus one, plus one counter. Uh, oh, this is Might of the Masses plus Trample and has to be blocked. That card's bad. In my opinion. That's uh, it's not bad. That's just a solid two drop right there. Uh, I don't like an enchantment. Does it even drop? No, it doesn't drop. Uh, the 4-2 isn't bad. Uh, we don't really want the island. I'm going to take the 2-1, just because it's a, it's a valuable creature to fill out our curve. Uh, as far as I remember, this is a trash saga. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, trash. Pretty trash. Um, we have two elves, so that's not really great. Uh, Master Skill isn't the thing I want. Mm, it's, it's pretty good with Fall of the Imposter. Uh, what does this land do? Oh, yeah, yeah it's blue. Um, okay. We don't have any red cards yet, but, like, what if we get a Tybalt in the next pack? You know what I mean? OP, OP. Uh, I'm just going to take this, because it's technically in our colors. Snow-covered forest. Better than 
Rise of the Draugar, and this Not Full Reboots. I'm going to take this uh, just so that we can pick up later snow payoffs that are in green. Okay, put a plus one plus one counter each of two target creatures you control. They gain lifelink and vigilance until in a turn. Uh, it's a sorcery. Uh, I also kind of want the snow covered plains, but like this land seems very good. Uh, at this point, our deck's looking so bad, I'm just going to put that in there. This is our first pack. Destroy target artifact and enchantment, you gain four life. I demonstrate a tabbed creature. This isn't bad. Can you only foretell as a sorcery? No? Doesn't look like you can only foretell as a sorcery. Uh, I'm gonna take this. It's like solid removal, plus we can foretell it onto. Uh, Revitalize is pretty garbo. Uh, this card's either really good or really bad. Uh, you don't know until you draw it. Uh, I don't like Revitalize all that much. Gates of Isfil- oh, Why is it double blue? Fuck you! Be one blue! I guess it does draw cards. Lands that draw cards should be double blue, but... Artifacts and enchantments suppose you cost, cost one less to cast. So that goes good with our Fall of the Imposter and the Scorn Effigy in our sideboard. A Power. Um, Iron Verdict, kind of trash. I'm just going to take the 2-2 two -two with Lying. Sorry, Iron Verdict isn't trash. Having a second one, I think, is trash. It's conditional removal. Trash compared to the 2-2, two -two, at least. Uh, yeah, this is, like, real bad. Looks like everyone went into green white, and we just got the good on commons for it. Uh, this is a black card. We can play this. This card's also, like, insanely good. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take that and hope for uh, a dual land at some point. Uh, this line's better than the other one. Strategic planning. Let the top three cards your library, put one of them in your hand after the graveyard. And that card's also... Okay. Isika's Chariot. Isika's Chariot into the battlefield. Create two two twos. Uh, whenever it attacks, create a token as a copy of... Holy fuck! What a good vehicle! Ooh, boy! Yeah, I want that shit. Uh, we don't have enough snow for that. We only have one snow thing. We have a Shimmer Drift Jail, too. God's Hall Guardian, Star Wars Valkyrie. We have a bunch of good stuff that can come back around to us. You may pay one in a cup, uh... One white and XL creature card from your day better than this spells mana cost. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, what's this uncommon? We catch like spell charm, create a one one with flying. I mean that's okay. That goes good with uh fear ha. But we don't have any fear has, so yeah, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this black card out of our deck and act like we never put it in. Um I do like gods. As long as you control three or more legendary creatures, it gets plus four, plus two, and has vigilance, so it's a six six. Blue the top six cards of your library, you may reveal a legendary creature card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest of the bottom of your library in every order. So this is a four mana two four. Uh that goes good with uh it's only creatures, right? Yeah. Oh, but the vehicle becomes a creature. Not bad. Okay, okay. We actually have a lot of legendaries for this thing. Uh backside, as the ring heart enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, add green. Um, this is, uh, this is very sketch, but this is a god, and I want to play with a god, okay? So, no one talk to me about how it's bad. I know it's bad. Just creature you control and target creature you don't control. If you control three or more snow permanents, this creature, uh, the creature you control, oh, and then they fight, okay. Dude, it has an animate, uh, a fucking roar when it just battlefield. Racial foot palm, not bad. Control three or more snow permanents. The creature you control gets plus one indestructible. Then those creatures fight each other. Okay. Uh, let's see what this rune does. Draw a card. Permanent has lifelink. Oh, and you can uh, equip an, an, uh, an enchant an equipment, and the equipment starts giving lifelink too. Um, I'm gonna take Blizzard Brawl in hopes that we get like maybe one of the fucking tap lands is in our colors. Create a treasure token. Search the library for uh, the specific card we don't have. Ooh, ooh, Horizon Seeker, plus our snow-covered basic, ooh, or Axe Card Monger. Um, our fours are, our threes are looking pretty stacked. I don't know if I want Horizon Seeker, but like, I don't know. This card doesn't seem too insane. This is also a warrior for Herald. 
King of Skemfar, whereas this is... Oh, this is also a warrior. You know, last time we had three of those, I'm just going to take one of these. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Target Shadow. Uh, we're not playing black. We should take the snow dude. Um, yeah. Sorry, we're not playing enough black to, to double cast that spell. Rhymewood Falls? Come on. Where's a green black one? Or a white black one? I know they exist. This is an enemy color. They have to exist. Uh, this creature seems insane. That's, uh, yeah. We already have one of those, so. I want to get a second one. Yeah, we need a we need a precipitous amount of snow permanence to make our deck not bad. Um, Guardian Gladewalker and Spellfield put a plus one plus one on a dude. That ain't bad. Search for glory. Search your library for a snow permanent card, a legendary card, or a saga card. Reveal put in your hand and shuffle your library. Gain one life for each snow spent to cast a spell. This seems awful. I would never play this card. Uh, yeah. The, these packs are not looking great. I mean, we have another one of those, though. These are... This card's insane, right? Am I just stupid? Am I stupid? This card seems... It's a 1-mana 2-1, and it has upside? Like, every time you attack, you can make a 1-1 one -one with it? Um, This card is... This card seems better. Is it a warrior? Fuck yeah. Warrior tribal. Here we go. Port of Carfell, Mill, Run Ashore, Way Down. Yeah, Way Down seems playable if we end up having to play Black. I want to keep Herald in because it goes good with our God, but probably won't get to. Wings. Uh... We can take the Floodplain. Maybe we pick up a good blue card. Better than Herald. Go into that. This card's good. Just attack. Tap a dude. Uh, we're more likely to play... Uh, Wither Crown's better. Damn. These are, some, these are some easy picks. Bam. I mean, rare land, right? Moriette of the Frost. Changeling. Copy of permanent you control, and it's legendary in snow, and it should show the type. Uh, if it's a creature enters with two additional plus one, plus one counters on it, and has changeling. Meh. We sleep. Uh, Ice Hide Troll? Ice Hide Troll. Doesn't seem bad. I'm going to take this. Because uh, nothing in this pack seems amazing. Ooh, ooh, snow cover forest. Uh, uh, rare land. Whatever. I'm in bronze lake four. Like these people aren't aren't, aren't gonna like punish my mistakes. Although it would be nice to have more snow lands. Uh, enchant. Oh, I'm I'm not playing blue. Although maybe I should be. How easy it is to splash blue. Do I want the ravenous landworm? I think I want more. Yeah. I'm going to go with more elves rather than a, a 7 drop. Because we want this, and it goes well with uh, our ring heart crest. If we ever... I think you always just want the the god of kinship. Do we play... Do we play Herald just to have the ability to god of kinship? Now that's a good land. Oh, we don't have enough snow permanence to do that shit. Yeah. Snow-covered mountain, not good enough. Send of the Worthy, this is the bad one. Yeah. It's gonna be yikes for me. Uh, we can either take Ice High Troll or Shimmer Drift Veil. How many... We have 22 cards. We need three more cards to make our deck, like usable or four more cards i'm gonna take ice hide troll for now because we already have three lands huh. yeah that's just a 2-2 with upside 
Or we can take the snow covered plane. Uh yeah. hope the hope the plane's wheels. Oh, hey. Fuck yeah. That's exactly what we want. Yeah. Uh that's red. Ooh, Jasper Sentinel. Uh, I feel like one of these one drops is better in Spellfield. <laughs> That's bad. I guess I guess it's not bad. It's just not. <laughs> it's it's funny. <laughs> That's funny bad. Okay, we should have taken a land earlier. Definitely should have taken a land earlier. Uh, I like Doom Score Overfall more than then. This Jasper Sent. Ah, uh, no. The Jasper Sentinel is like really good in our deck. We can take out uh, Harold though. I mean, that's not great. Oh, hey. A white card? A bad white card? Battle of the Worthy? That's a good, that's a good late pick. Can even foretell it. Interesting. Inter interesting. Yeah. I should have known none of that. I don't know why I thought any Snowlands would wheel. It was hopeful. We had a dream and it did not, it did not come true. Which means the Disney loop movies have lied to me all of my life. Hey, this land wield. I mean, I'll take this. Just like a bunch of green dudes. Bunch of green dudes dot deck. Do we need 17 lands? I don't think we even need 17 lands. Now we have two Mahas, and if we. There's no world in which we want to more ball progress, please. I don't think there's a world in which we want more, like, less Mahas. Or it, there's no world in which we uh, are happy we can't cast our maha. There we go. I got I got to the words eventually. Yeah, three of those is overkill. Ooh, code spell care cleric. Hmm. We have a bunch of tap lands too. Yeah, we should take out. Probably Coral V. Four mana, two four. Do we play four mana, two four? The question of the century. Uh, we don't have a lot of removal. But the removal that we do have is pretty good. This Ice Hide Troll's not... Not amazing. Yeah, I'm going to take that out. Our curb's a little off, but... Just, just you know, run it back. I guess run it one way, like, not really running it back if it's the first time you're running it, you know what I mean? Aeon. No, oh, they're silver! Pairing against, pairing against other bronze, I'm bad. Bad at the game. It's definitely not that I haven't played in like a few months. They also have a Hawaii doggo. VVQ. Planes, two one. Now, do we make a warrior or do we play sculptor? How good is the warrior token? I feel like. Sculptor doesn't do anything. Warrior token's basically the same at this point. And then they play a 2-2. Two -two, and then we just cry. Or they play nothing. And we laugh. So we can either make another warrior and go ham, or we can play Goldmont Champion. The gold mod champion will next turn allow us to tap before they can block. Yeah, I like gold mod more. 
it pushes more damage through. Then we can draw. We can draw off. Uh, we draw land. We can still make the warrior token. We definitely want to just draw land. Land here. Because being able to play this Maha will end the game. Oh, they just foretold a card. Well, that's not the land we wanted to see, which is all all bad. I'm a little worried. They don't seem to be doing a lot, and they could have like some wrath effect. Hmm. If we if we play the Usher of the Fallen, then we don't. Does she, does she come with a group? No, you need to play Lance to get the group. Yeah, I'm gonna play the second Usher, but I feel bad about it. We either draw a land and we can play Maha, and then they're just dead, right? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, and they're like super dead. And if they're not dead, then like we don't need to commit anything else to the board next turn. We can just keep using our ushers. When it enters the battlefield, if you control three or more creatures that share a type, put a plus one plus one counter on Latin against your first. Okay, yeah, this is just a bad turn for them. Yeah, they're just... Okay, yeah. Easy game! Oh, I'm not bronze tier 3. I'm bron uh, or bronze tier 4. I'm tier 3. Dude. I'm like, twice as good as I thought I was. Right? That's how functions work, right? Oh boy, a level up. Woo. It should be like, a really fast stream. Or, not a really fast stream, a really fast run. Full aggro, full tilt. I call tilt when you, like, attack, but I guess, like, tilt is when you, you know, get salty. There we go. I forgot the word for salt for a minute. Is, is there no background music on Arena? I feel like there should be background music. Just play elevator music the whole time you're playing Arena. Easy game. Yeah, the sand is good. Yeah, this card's insane. I don't know why I got it like fourth pick. Hello, opponent. How are you? Do you have an answer to my creature? I hope you don't. Oh, oh, wow. Desperation rune. That's, uh, that's never a good sign. We don't, uh, I'm going to assume that they lost to this 2-1 last game. Oh, they foretold something. Probably a removal spell for my usher, yeah? Since they were so, like, they were more than ready to use a rune solely to uh, draw a card. Two mana cycle. Okay, that's a 2-1. Do we trade the 2-1 for the 1-2? Question marks? Next turn we can just power through, though. Is 2 damage worth our best creature? I'm going to go with a solid no on that one. Oh, they foretold we hold the multiverse. Scry 2, draw 2. I mean, that's a really good card. I think they bottomed both. I was not paying enough attention. 
Flying trample plus two plus two until their turn. Sure. Um, Maha? Maha, baby? Yeah, this Master Scald's actually really good with our saga. Got the bird for free? I guess not for free, they gotta loot once. What a fucking nerd. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Armaha! Okay, a 3-3. Three, three. The battlefield draw three cards, and then if oh oh, only if three more creatures died this turn, it's just cry three. Cool. No, low order. Don't low order ourselves. Oh fuck, we can't do all the good things, but we can do one of the good things. Yeah, I can afford to trade the Usher of the Faller now. Usher of the Fallen now. Wait. It's when it dies? Okay. Well, we didn't... They didn't get the 3 proc, but... That could have been very bad. Since we're... Oh, shit, that thing. Well, time to start following the imposter. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, create a 1 1 with flying. Instant value. This is gonna be a 2 3 though. And then it'll become a 4 4. They have. They only have two. Uh, Snowlands. So they can only make it a 2-3, actually. Right, that costs 3. Uh, yeah, let's put it on the Spirit. Therian Spirit. Berserker Shieldmate. Bezkir Shieldmate, not Berserker. For the next turn, we can get rid of the Flying Feature. Do we want to get rid of the 2-3? Uh, probably should have attacked there. Sorry. Not probably should have, definitely should have attacked there. Oh, I didn't play the... Oh, I played the Clarion Spirit in the next turn. I'm going to draw land. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Because we have the front verdict. I don't know why they attacked. Oh, because I can't target that because it doesn't have the... It's not tied for the highest. That's good. That's... Our opponent has a has a brain. Unlike us. Yeah, we're just gonna... All in right here. I feel like they're still dead, but... Not specifically this turn, but... In a future turn. Chant creature vehicle minus three minus oh. Yeah. Five. They're still dead next turn. And they traded their dude for a 1 1. I can play this. Uh, exile the shield mate. Probably should exile the fear house since I have two. Easy game! Dude, bronze tier two. I'm so flattered. Ooh -ooh. <laughs> Waiting for the server.
long wait time. Can do the can do the rank too. Open up Wikipedia. Random. Random. Oh, we got matched. This is an insane hand. This is our best hand. We don't have any white. This is not our best hand. This is not even close to our best hand. But this is a very good hand, so. Hopefully we draw Usher. Yeah. So that we can go Sentinel, Sculptor, Usher. And also, you know, a white land. A white land would be nice. But we don't need the white land yet, so. Oh, fuck. We're also one mana off of cats in this. Because I need to tap the sculptor to do to use this. Oh, never mind. Direct nerd. <laughs> Plus, if we draw a land, we're, we're golden. Man, people love this card. Okay, so yeah. Sculptor of Winter. This guy. Oh, come on. Nice. Love I have to do this in this order. Yeah. You missed a Papayas. There was double there was a double doggo earlier. Our opponent had a doggo too. And they even had Hawaii doggo. This guy, uh Nerd Rage, only has an owl though. Yo, what up, Lexicon? How's it going? Uh, this deck that we have is insane. Uh, and that was an insanely good draw, too. Oh, yeah, I changed my name because I figured out how to do it. Uh, it took me uh, too much effort. Uh, I literally tried, like, four times. We're going to cast the Chariot, right? We have four mana for the Chariot. And then we're going to have Blizzard Brawl up. Just in case. If they want to trade the shield mate for the... If they have a Wrath, then I'm fucked. But if they have a Wrath, I'm fucked anyways. I really hope this doesn't have haste and I just fuck myself. No, but it's, uh... It's really good. Oh, shit. I'm not actually that fucked. Because I can... I can Blizzard Brawl and save a dude, because I have three snow permanents. I would probably save a cat. Yep, draw a card, discard a card. Dude, turns out mana dorks are broken. The five drop? Oh, the five drop is an anthem, and whenever I play a land, I get a 1-1. One, one. And then it's also like a 2-3. Uh, I got it second pick, and then I got another one like next like in my second pack, so... I decided, you know, I liked playing with good cards, and my opponents decided that that wasn't their thing to do. Or my draft, my other drafters. But to be fair... Yeah, cracked. Uh, to be fair, I am in, like, bronze, so I can't really, like, blame uh, them for not, like, knowing how uh, everything works perfectly. And that anthems are broken. I really need a white source to cast it, though. Exile? That's rude. No, I don't want a crew. Fuck that. I wanted to... I wanted to fuck, a, fuck them up. But they were like, I would prefer not being fucked up. What a dickhead. Yeah, I want to keep Sculptor Winter back. Because I just realized this Sentinel can't cast uh, the Brawl. The Blizzard Brawl. This is also probably that uh, Scry 2 draw 2. Scry 2 draw 2 for tell. 2 mana instant. I also like how there's like snow sorceries now. Pretty dope. 
Frost Dogger. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a snow card, reveal it and put it into your hands. Wow, his deck's full of like one twos that let him filter. If only he had something to filter towards. Draw a guard recruiter, sure. Um yeah, we can just cast this. Yeah, dude, we went 7-1 with that draft. What the fuck do you mean? The five color world tree worked. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going to feel bad for winning. Like, come on, dude. Five color world tree worked. And two color fucking green white snow tokens is going to fuck them too. Like, we're 3-0, I'm pretty sure. Uh, to be fair, though, I, again, I am playing in bronze, and I do feel like I'm a little bit better than bronze, considering I was in gold before I stopped playing for three months. Oh, man, hair fucking everywhere. Cool. Uh, looks like a long wait time. I'm going to tab back over to the... Okay, Porta Blanco. Historic railway bridge that spans 150 feet deep and 36 meters across the gorge of the Kedromalo Canyon. Or John Weir Murray, an American pastor, evangelist, and educator. Born in Michigan, he studied at the Bible Institute of Los Angeles. Served as a pastor, then became the president of Shelton College. He led an establishment of the Harvey Seizures Bible Conference, the purchase... Why is he uh, why is he historically relevant? The only reinforced concrete bridge in an area and it is the highest of its kind in Puerto Rico. It was built in uh, 1922 by the American Railroad Company to replace the 1907 steel bridge that was part of the construction of the National High Railway. Okay, between a concrete bridge in Puerto Rico and an American pastor from like uh, half a decade ago. Hmm. That's actually hard. That's this difficult. Why is that a draw? Did they like back out of the queue? Oh well. We did it. We drew. Hopefully it doesn't count as a loss. Okay, it didn't count as a loss. I don't know. Porto Blanco sounds cooler. But John you John Weir Murray? Hmm. John Weir Mirror's dead, and I don't want to... I don't know. My dad's from Michigan, so there's, there's like, some kinship there with Murray. But, man. A concrete... The highest concrete bridge? The picture on Porto Blanco uh, is, like, actually great. If we can if we can pull it up here uh, let's see plains forest clarion spirit sculptor maha yes hand scrape plains pass image No, where were you last turn? You ETB tapped, right? God damn. God damn, game hates me. Okay. Draw? Oh, I still hit the stop on my turn. I was like, why did it stop? Yep, to my main. Um, we don't have any snowlands, so Ice Side Troll's just a faster dude. Harder, better, faster, stronger. And then flunge. Yep.
Oh, hey, there it is. Yeah, the Porto Blanco Bridge. I 100% choose this over John W. Murray uh, because I like the look of this picture. That is the only reason I will give. Oh, god damn it. Now we can't do two things in one turn. It's annoying as shit. Uh, Fortel doesn't count as... Nope. Not the one I wanted to cast. Boast, XL top card of your library, you may play it in one turn. Yeah, he's gonna play the next turn. I'm gonna just verdict it. Hey, they have a Clarion Spirit too. They did not use this at all. And creature gets plus one, plus one. And when it dies, they get a 1-1. One, one. That's fine. I'll trade this Ice Eye Troll for a Clarion Spirit any day of the week. Like, you don't even know. Sure, to damage. Or I'll just kill the Spirit for free. Like, whatever. Yeah, um, I don't think there's a way we lose this game. I'm going to change my settings real quick. Bam. Perfect. Yeah, I'd like, we're just going to steamroll this draft. Our, get, our deck's like too good. And that is my opinion, and it will not come back to haunt me. Mark my word. Oh, we can even play the land and get a 2-2 for, for Maha. Yeah. Oh, now you're willing to double luck? <laughs> Fucking nerd. You needed to you needed to block everything though. Yeah. When our opponent's gonna get good. Bronze tier 1? Unbeatable? Are we too powerful? Bam. I really wish the quests would stop giving me free shit, because I don't want to see it anymore. I know that's a terrible reason to, like, turn down free shit, is that I don't want to look at it, but... To be fair, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> okay, looking up two new things. Uh, Pythicius nicurius is a species of beetle in the family Cermabicide. It was described by uh, J John Crispin Fibicus in 1781. Or Old Kilcolan, uh, which is formerly Kilcolan, uh, a townland in country Kadare, Ireland, which includes a noticed religious archaeological site within its boundary. Um, that's interesting. I don't know, I'm not one for the scientific names of beetles. Hey, it's Chugga. Guys, it's, it's Chugga Conroy. Oh no, we have both the tap land and the, and the one drop. Uh, yeah, this hand's actually fine. We should... They're going first. No, we're going first. This is really awkward. Uh, because now we want to draw... Wait, there's no one-drops on our deck we can draw. Yeah, we should have just led with Arctic Tree Land. Damn. That was a misplay on me. Fuck, what was the other thing? Oh, Old Kilcon. I mean, Old Kilcon sounds like a cool place. Like, I'd want to be in Old Kilcon one day. Uh, hope we draw land. Should we even have kept this hand? Think about it, I was like, Usher the Fallen's like the best card in our deck. But, we can't really like, play anything that fast? I mean, had we played Arctic Tree Line, our hand would have been way better. 
So I don't know. I don't know if like. I definitely think the misplay is that we. We stuttered. And we're like, I want to. I want to play a one-two for one, and then our one-two for one was bad. Uh, Battlefield Raptor. I hate these one-one flyers for or these one X flyers for one with a random ability. I hate them with a burning passion. Like Wizards try so hard to make that card good, every set, and every time it gets a little bit better, and it's just that much more annoying that it's like actually good. Well, we wanted some shit last turn. We activated boast ability for a plus. Ooh, that card seems sick. Um. Yeah, I'm going to lead with Ice Eye Troll. We can then play Usher the Fallen, but I don't really want to trade Usher the Fallen, but it gets onto the battlefield. And Ice Eye Troll is really good if we... Next turn we can activate its ability. Okay. I definitely feel like we're probably going to get out aggroed, but Usher the Fallen isn't great at out, like... Usher the Fallen is pretty good when we're ahead, but not great when we're behind. So if we need to trade it for the 2-2 here, like, I, I'm not feeling bad about it. Especially since we can follow the Imposter and make this a 2-3 as well. Damn, why did our opponent have to get good? You know what I mean? Why did our opponent literally strictly listen to our advice? Okay, this is really bad. Uh, not only because it's a 1-1 one, one with first strike, which is really good against our Archer of Fallen, but... So we can follow the imposter our eyesight troll. Hmm. Do we want to follow the imposter our eyesight troll, or do we want to? I think we definitely need to get this down so that we can start getting like tick up counters on it. I'm gonna do the eyesight troll because if he boasts, it's really bad for us. I also want to play the second usher of the fallen. Because this sentinel is not blocking anything anyways, and the usher, this usher can block instead of the other usher, so we don't just get fucked. You know what I mean? This is definitely the most difficult game we've played so far. Hmm. And it's a little, it's a little tight. Because they're still ahead, but if we can get to this fall of the imposter, I think we're doing good. We also have the iron verdict, which we can do on something that like becomes a problem. I don't want to do it on the fearless pub, but we, it like, maybe, you know what I mean? Fermenter's Helm. Okay, now we should just do it on it. Uh, yeah. Because she's plus one, plus one, whatever it's blocked, deals one damage to the defending player. Wait, the defending player, not the... Yeah, that's not bad, but that's also not good. Like, for them. Uh, we can put this on the Sentinel. Uh, it's a little weird that they're not attacking. I don't know what they're expecting. Uh, but, like, they should definitely just be attacking here. Or, with, like, the... With a bunch of their stuff. Unless they... No, because they lose stuff to the Ice Hide Troll every turn, but then we have to trade Ushers of the Fallen. I don't know. I'm a 50-50 on their no attack. Build Vein pick? That's whatever. I don't even I don't even care about that. We sleep. It'll give them gold every turn, but... Not really, because we're gonna just yoink the spirit out of the world. In a second. Yeah. 
I mean, it had a lot of equipment on it, and we had no way of killing it. Uh, Exile creature with the highest power. Frenzied Raider has the possibility of being the hardest to kill later in the game. But Clarion Spirit will keep giving them 1-1s one that we can't really deal with, so... I definitely think... The, uh, killing the Clarion Spirit is a good idea there. Uh, we're, like, way ahead on tempo, so we can afford to just make this attack. And... Yeah, and if this baits them into an attack, like... Their attack ends up being really bad once we iron verdict their creature, like their biggest creature, and we just trade a bunch of shit. Especially if they spend like their turn just equipping a bunch of garbage. Like if they go like equip and then activate Fearless Pup, and then we just kill the Frenzied Raider, they're kind of just fucked. You know what I mean? Even if they just like equip with a battlefield raptor, like they're they're so far on the back foot. Every time they equip, it's just great for us. Like the fearless pup's also like annoying because it's like we can't block it. But the idea that like the fearless pup is going to be going the mile is not realistic. I'm sorry, Puppo. Oh hey. The Puppo's not even like a, it's not a doggo, it's a wolf. Uh, hopefully they attack with all. Whenever you activate a boast ability, put a plus one plus one counter on Frenzy Raider. Force them to spend all of their mana. And also save us like five life. Or four life. Three life. Save us a variable amount of life. And then if we draw Maha, then they're just fucked. That's not a Maha. I still don't think they're in like a good position. But they could be in a worse position, that's for sure. They didn't go like full hawk. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Like they have to eventually block this thing. Did we just plunge with all? We lose both the Dauntless, we get a 1-1. One, one. They take 4 extra damage, they're at, uh, they're at 6. I think we should plunge with all next turn, if they don't play anything, but this turn it wasn't very valuable. They're probably going to equip the pick again. If they just re-equip and like, attack, like we just don't block whatever they attack with, right? I feel like... Oh, I'm covering their lands? Mm, tiny. There we go. That's the appropriate size. Well, they played their fifth land. Rune of Speed. Uh, equipment gets plus one, plus zero, oh, and gives haste. Uh, and they draw a card. That feels like desperation to me. Like, I don't think... I don't think they're happy to play that there. They might be, and in which case I'm just a, uh, like, I just have no idea what's going on in their hand, but, like, that's not even, that's not even solid. They still have to, like, equip, and then they only have, like, two mana left. Like, pretty sure they're dead. Forward Valkyrie, um, uh... okay, okay, that was good. That, okay, this might be the turnaround, uh, because now they can, like, race in the air. We don't have a lot we can do about it other than block with our Sentinel. Or just spare a Sentinel. Oh, that's probably why they haven't been attacking with their Battlefield Raptor. Because we have a creature with Reach that just kills it. That makes sense, yeah. If they don't equip here, like, we just won the game, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Sure, attack me, dude. Go for it. See if I give a fuck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fucking nerd. Um, so the question here now: We attack with the troll. They block. They block there. They block there. We get four through. 
Then we get A11. Hmm. These guys are really not not up to snuff, especially against this one two with first strike. Like, why does that fucking one two at first strike? God damn. Probably specifically to deal with Usher the Fallen, but god damn. I mean, if they're just never going to block, we can just, like, Lava Axe them every turn, right? Like, I don't know what their plan is, but it seems really bad. <laughs> I feel like next turn they're just dead. Not like uber dead, but like... Okay, never mind. They've got blocks. They got blocks. Blocks for days. Maha, 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 maha. Let's see, we have a uh, 1 in 13 chance of getting our Maha. We have no removal spells left in our deck, though. Wait, do we have a dead creature? No, none of our creatures are dead. Spectral see, Steel? Uh, Excel, return another aura. Okay. That ain't bad. That's a 7-5. But I'm also not, like, quivering in my boots. It's just a 7-5. It's just an 8-6. Amaha will still will still give us the advantage here. Oh man, what if they attack? If they attack, are they just fucked? Oh, they didn't attack, it doesn't matter. No reason to do the math. Okay, we attack. They eat this, this, this. Trade this. Pick two, go to three. Oh, then we have three is like not enough. They'll have one, one, two, three. We'll have three creatures in play. We'll have just Spara. Oh wait, no, no, no. They'll e o o e e e. Hmm. We'll have this and this in play, and they'll have three dudes in play. Yeah, I feel like... We're kind of a little at parity right now, but they're at 5 and we're at 14. We have a little bit of an advantage. Oh, shit. Oh, don't touch the table. Don't touch the table. You know, we 50-50 on this. They have a bear. Can I change their bear? Nope. Can't change their bear. Maybe their bear doesn't change, I don't know. Maybe look at the bear pets. A little time shrinking. Going down. I've got a lot to do. They played a mountain. The last card in their hand is probably a land. We just need to draw Maha. Maha would be good. I think. Yeah. I think Maha is the only good thing. Oh, that's a real bad attack. Unless they've got something, like, insane in their hand. Like, I am not feeling that attack, if I'm them. Especially since I played the Chariot. Like, I don't, I don't know what their plan is now.
let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They don't have us dead, though, because we can just we make tokens when we attack. Right? They have to do some whack blocks. Make sure they get to eat those, but then they just lose a the spirit. They, they have to trade the clarion spirit. Oh, they're, they're not even... Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see, they have two, four, six, seven, eight still coming at them. Oh, they have to block, they have to block the chariot and the troll. I still feel like it's better for this to block there. We'll take four, go to one. And then we can make two one ones. Yeah, that trade's really bad. They should just they should block the one two with first strike on the on the two one and then chomp the with the two two. Oh, they figured it out. I shouldn't have told them. I shouldn't have said it. Ooh, yikes! They uh, they ran out of time and died. Sometimes efficiency matters. That was actually a close game. That was a that was a that was an interesting game. Dude, look, I got a Daxos. Actually, that's Vault Progress, because I already have four Daxos. A, we win infinite. Go us. Can we can we get a uh, Komodo hype in chat? Damn, we got one. There we go. <laughs> your time refuse runs down. You'll automatically lose one of your 30 seconds second extensions if available. Okay, this has taken a little while. I thought we would uh, be done with this by now, but I can hit two randoms. Oh! I guess I never decided between Calcoon and... Ah, uh... oh, thanks, Papayas. And uh, the Beatles. Or a kill colon? No, I, I definitely like kill colon better. This hand's like passable. This isn't what I wanted, but this is what I'll this is what I'll play. Ah, thanks, Wilhelm. I didn't realize you were still here. I thought you left earlier. Assumed my audio quality was too bad for you. We definitely should have picked up some of those snow cupboards. I guess the equipment... Ooh, that's really good. Some of the snow covers and stuff thing. I'm just doing other things at the same time. That's fair. Thanks for sticking around. It increases my average viewer count. This two is higher than my average. Uh, Colossal Plow attacks. You get three white and gain three life. And yeah, okay. that That's garbage. Mm, this is probably better. Bam! Killed it. Oh, they have a Hedro monster. Okay. Okay. This is some shit, but also it's pretty great and I love it. I will not block. You beat me. You got me there. Ox plow. Let's see. What can we draw that's really good? 
Oh, if we get uh, Divine Judgment, then they just game over, right? Oh, they don't just game over. Because they actually have cards in their deck. Hm. Usher the Fallen. Fuck that shit. Um... Yeah, let's lead with this, I mean. Yeah. I like the kitty cart. We can trade the Sculptor of Winter and a kitty for the for the plow. That's still not great, but uh, uh. And then we can trade the Stalheim Courier Courser for the Usher of the Fallen. And then we have Fall of the Imposter to uh, to back up a cat, or we could just play Ice Hydro and. Attack with Asika's Chariot. That'll be good. Damn. I mean, if they're just not going to do anything, right? Like, might as well hit random on Wikipedia. Random, random. What'd they cast? Oh, they foretold. What's this thing do? I need to know now. Search library for an Orander equipment card, reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your library. Okay. It's actually worse than I thought it was. I was like, white and red? I can't play those colors. But I thought it was a lightning helix. I thought it would be something better than. Uh, Steel Shaper's Gift. Run out of time? Question mark? What are you doing? Okay. They're attacking with Shield Mate. Just Shield Mate? Uh, I want to keep the Sculptor of Winter. For the for the blizzard brawl, so I'll, ju I'll just take two here. I'm not too upset about it. Draw a snow covered? Nope. Stalwart Valkyrie. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna play Ice Hide Troll in hopes that next turn I get to like draw a card. Seeker's Chariot is just when I attack. Uh, in, in hopes of next turn that I get a, another Snow Permanent and then I can Blizzard Brawl on command. Oh, Blizzard Brawl's a Snow Sorcery? What is this shit? This game's, this game's no fair. They draw. They got card in hand. They got a Foretold. I'm going to guess their Foretold is deal 5 damage to a tap creature. Instant. But it's the only thing it could be, right? I should be attacking with Stramheim Corsair. Since he's not attacking, like... I can afford to. I also want to start getting this Fall of the Imposter to begin, like, popping off. Yeah, I think it was too ambitious to try and get this. Enchant permanent, can't attack, block, or crew vehicles. Its activated abilities can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. That's fine. Uh, I would have done that on the chariot if I were them, but... Like, I'm not them, so... Yeah, they're activating the chariot. Uh, crew in six. They definitely have the 5 mana to a tap thing now. Like, there's no way they're just doing this blind. When they didn't do it last turn.
Uh, Sculptor Adventure's not doing anything for us, so I'm, I'm going to just trade it off. Yeah, I'm going to trade the Sculptor of Winter. I don't know if I want to trade the Skomheim. Hmm. I don't want to have to deal with this. Is the big problem. Oh, I have the fight spell, so I don't, I don't even have to worry about it. Like, this is fine. I'm pretty sure. And next turn we can play Fall of the Imposter. Probably Iron Judgment still, right? Allegiance Judgment, whatever it is. Five damage to a tap creature, instant speed for one mana. Unless it's the red common foretold. But I, I haven't seen that yet, so... I don't know what it could be. Oh, is it Lightning Bolt? It's Lightning Bolt. Uh, I'm not too upset with that. That means that we get to crew our thing next turn. Oh, no we don't. All of our shit's dead, that's right. Oh wait, yes we do, because we have the Stalwart Valkyrie. Hmm. Okay, we we get to... Okay. We can play this. We can play Stalwart Valkyrie. Get rid of the, uh, the Sculptor of Winter, right? Blizzard Rolls and Sorcery, which is excessively aggravating. We can use this to block, though, right? We're not too hurting for HP, so I'm, or health. Fuck. Uh, so I'm not going to life. It's life in this game. Yeah, it's life. Uh, so I'm gonna hold off on the Blizzard Brawl. If he attacks with the Plow, I'll just trade the Valkyrie. If he doesn't attack with the Plow, I'll just. Uh, what's the other thing I can do? Uh, I'll, I'll I'll block with the chariot. There we go. That's it. Played a spell pre-combat, which is really bad, but don't know what else to say about that other than get good scrub. Learn to play. This two two can just eat this for free. So at most we take three damage this turn, and if as soon as this chariot starts like actually attacking, we like can't lose. This doesn't have trample, right? No. Yeah. It's just a big old plow. Their 06 is going to be really annoying, though. We'll say that much. Yep. Especially since they've already gained a ton of life. Uh, these are easy blocks. Next turn, if we draw a land, we can play... We should hold off on Master of Scaled until we play Fall of the Imposter. Ignore the thing I was about to say. Yeah, they can't even activate this, they don't have two mountains. And once I play Fall the Imposter, like, these can't attack either. Uh, it's really annoying that we still only have one forest, but... What are you gonna do other than cry? This is so much better, this alleviates a lot more pressure than Desperate Sentinel. Oh shit, they can get an equipment! What? Okay, what equipment is it, buddy? Is it the fucking- is it the dagger that makes me bleed gold? Is it um the helmet that deals one damage to me every time I block, or is it like a, is it uh some legendary? Is it a god? It's probably a god. Now that I think about it, you shouldn't play that deck if you, you're not gonna play that. You should play this in your deck if you have a god. Also, they're like diamond, huh? That's weird. I'm only bronze. I should play only bronze players. I'm still not too worried about like these attacks. Yep, target that. 
Doomscar Oracle. I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna play Dress Jesper Sentinel. This is a sorcery only, right? No, it's not. They're gonna do it at the end of the turn. Okay. I'm gonna save Blizzard Brawl in case they get a god. Um I can't imagine like an amazing god they could get, but I also don't know like any of the gods, so. The only one I know is the shit one in our sideboard. It's a 6-6 six -six if I have three legends in play. That'd be online? No, that wouldn't be online right now. That's fine, we got a free token out of the deal. Just making a free token every turn seems like it'll eventually win us this game. Not a god. Not a god. Oh, it's and? Shit. That's actually not bad. Uh, Raven Wings. Which, um, not excessively worried about. Uh, I am bound in gold again. Bound in gold is really upsetting for us in particular, but we we can probably muddle through it. Uh, if they bound in gold one of our blockers and then equip the Raven Wings, they have five damage. We're still not dead because of our Sentinel. You fucked. Um, they would also need six mana to do Oh, no, they'd need seven mana to do that. They probably uh, bound in gold to the Doomscar. But I'm always trading this cat, and this sentinel will block whatever. Next turn, we hope to draw a land so that we can both Master Skull, Fall of the Imposter, and uh, Blizzard Brawl. Since we have the Jesper Sentinel, and we'll have two like, golden vehicles. Yeah, that's fair. That was what was going to win us like way late game. Uh, I'm tempted to not block this, because then we can just exile it, right? But... Oh no, a Demon Bolt. Can Demon Bolt hit players? Nope. Cool. I'll just take this. Yoink. Um... Yeah. I will admit this doesn't feel great. Um... Take... Uh, exile this one. Other one's technically better. But we get to gain two life, giving us a little bit of momentum back, as well as taking away one of their blockers. And it doesn't make our creature indestructible either way, so. It'll be really annoying every turn that that ox is in play, though. God, fuck that ox. <laughs> Uh, they have a Demon Bolt, so they can kill one of our 4-4s, four but we can use Fall the Imposter to draw our stuff again. Raven Wings, sure. This will become a 2-1 with flying. Right? Yeah. It'll be a 2-1 bird. And then they Demon Bolt our Sentinel? Question mark? Is that the plan? That can't be the plan, because they'll lose their creature to Fall the Imposter too quick. Maybe we take two down to four. We'll be at two. We won't be like dead for the count, but they won't be in a great position either. Everybody but Sentinel get in there. What's a good draw we got? Oh yeah, we can always just draw Maha. Especially since we like way up on creatures. Uh, this is going to come a lot down to top decks. If we both top deck nothing, then we're going to win, obviously. But, oh, that's a, uh, yeah, let's follow the hammer or whatever. Legion's Judgment, Flash of the Whip. 
Another identical card. Iron Verdict. That's the name. That's annoying. Uh, but it's also not, like, too bad. Because that wasn't, like, a Maha. Uh, we should have kept this land in our hand for Maha. Hmm. A Clarion Spirit. That's really annoying. It's not too bad, but if they get rid of the Jasper Sentinel, then... We're a little fucked. They haven't played this card for two turns, so I'm pretty sure it's just a land. Oh, unless it exiles our Fall of the Imposter. Stonks, Diamond Hands, more memes. Oh, hey, that's actually a... That's a solid card right now. Yeah, now we need to block again. We will save this land. We'll exile the 3-2 next turn, though. So do we even need to worry about it? Yeah, I'll just trade here. I can't take 4. Taking four seems like too much. And then we exile the 2 2. This game's gonna be really close. There's no way we could avoid that because we couldn't get enough counters on this to make a, to stop the 4 2. Yeah, he's gonna draw a card. Yikes. I think this card won in the game. That's insane. Uh, yeah, this this card won him the game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Clarion Spirit's going to go by. Hmm. The Stronghold, a bit too late. Yeah, we take the same amount of damage either way. Because, like, they're just blocking. Or they're, they're just uh, gonna give everything flying and swing over for four. We need to draw something that'll deal three damage to them. Is there anything in our deck that deals three damage to them? Oh god, no. There's nothing in our deck that deals 3 damage to them now. Yeah. Wow, that was really close. Bam. Got outplayed. Yeah, that was a fun match. Fuck yeah. I don't know why... I, I don't know what triggers it to ask you that. I'm gonna assume it's random, though. I mean, we're still like, we're still 5 1. Like, Nerdron, we like, <laughs> you logged on at the worst possible time because that is cool ass fucking art. Um, because we are, this deck is legitimately killing it. And that was the first hard fight we had in all of the games. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're not fighting a, a diamond player this time. <laughs> Can't lose. Um, this hand seems really good if we draw land. And super good if we draw snow land. Yep. Goma champion. Oh, dude, even if they deal with our thing, we can, uh, with our chariot, and then we can just bring it back with our skull. Okay, well, that's annoying. They're going to be ahead the entire game now. Moto hype. Bam. Okay, fearless pup. Oh boy, they're green red. This might be a tough. This might be a tough game. 
Oh, uh, Tormentor's Helm? And then equip to the pup? Yeah. Uh, maybe... Maybe not the toughest game, but probably a tough game. This is three to three to pump too, right? Yeah. So if I block, I just skip their turn. It's basically a time walk. Except they got the draw card and we had to pay three mana for it. And also <laughs> uh, we took a damage. Oh shit. They had nothing to activate with it either way. Ooh boy. Um. Yeah, I think we win this race. So, uh, definitely should have played that post combat. But slam dunk. Can't lose. Can't lose. And then they just play a chariot and then start fucking going to town on us, like. I just I, I I'm just imagining the the worst world scenarios. Is it dwarf berserker? Okay, if he attacks with both, then I block a pup. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna move the equipment and then attack with the berserker? Oh, he's gonna get a runa speed. That's fine. I don't mind that. We're really starving for a land. These are instants, right? I think I'm going to all attack and then see if he takes the trade. He doesn't. Okay, since he didn't take the trade, I'm going to hold back with an Iron Verdict. So if he... Yes. Yes, please. When he attacks with everything, I just... Cut the big one. Hopefully he doesn't give it double strike and indestructible or some shit like that. Nice. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is a very tumultuous position for our opponent now. I don't know how they come back from this. Every time this pup hits me, it, it sounds like it's crying. Does it hurt to, for it to hit? Okay, a changeling, exile a creature card from your graveyard, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Activate this ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery. Okay. That's really good. I will not deny that that's really good. I unfortunately think it's too late. Uh, since we can just tap their dudes down. Yeah, they're uh, they need like some sort of wrath, because none of their creatures match up good against ours. This is just a boast ability, right? Yeah. Yep. Bam. Hog. I think I think Nerdtron eight said it best. Pog. Bam. Wish the server didn't take so long. A, we got another quest, and we got another call time pack. Yeah, one more fight. Here we go. Wait, did that not? Yeah. I thought Pog was the name the, of the emote, but it's actually Pog Champ. <laughs> oh, I was watching Pog Champs earlier today. That's as far as I can go with that story, uh, because it builds on another story. I told it Skylar last week, or like yesterday. So I need to like. <laughs> 
So I would need to like double load stories and it, was, it would take forever and we can already fight our opponent. Our opponent, whose name is Big Purr, uh, which is a solid name, would give 10 out of 10. I know you can't see it because, uh, yeah, PogChamp is way too many syllables. I know you can't see it because my name's in the way, or my face is in the way, but they definitely uh, have a good name. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna no attack here. Uh, so. This seems bad. But the reason why is if we draw another snow permanent, we can blizzard brawl them. And get the, get the double effect. Okay, we will always trade with that 100%. Uh, because that card is insane. We did not, uh, we did not get the thing we wanted. Oh, hey, welcome back, Thunderbird. Um, we are now six and one, uh, so this could be the last game of our draft. I think we have to trade the Sculptor of Winter for the Tuscary Firewalker. We can't let him just draw a card every turn. <laughs> What's up with you? I guess. Or is it Waz up? Yeah. I'm just I just like have to block here. There's no world where I'm like no blocks. Hey, got rid of the Cinderheart Giant. Nice. Hey, thanks for following, Will. Helm. It was, uh, it was super nice of you. Hmm. Alpine Meadow. Um... Damn. Do I even want to play this? I mean, we just attack, right? Um... <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just, you know, I wasn't sure. We should stop playing stuff free combat because that's bad. And we're gonna not be in bronze. Uh, oh, we're not in bronze anymore. That's right. We're in silver now. They really like that story, Seeker. Yeah, Behold the Multiverse, whatever. I'm fine with Behold the Multiverse. If we draw, we can never get this off if, with one draw, but Raven's Warning, hey, that's uh, that's real good for us. The Snow High Troll, Blizzard Brawl. Now we just need to draw Maha. Uh, there's probably a way they get back into this. Whenever one or more creatures control with flying, deal combat damage to a player. Look at that player's hand to draw a card. I'm fine with that. We put a card you own from outside of the game on top of your library. I'm fine with that. Okay. The Raven's Warning sounds like a black card, but it's a blue-white card, which is many confuse. I could see the argument to leaving behind this Corsair to make it so that that can't... No, I should have left behind the Sentinel 100%. I should have read my opponent's card before I took my turn. <laughs> Let's go with that. Portal. Uh, if that's a demon bull. We have 10 damage on the board. That's a demon bolt. They killed the flyer. Or they killed the Doomscar Oracle. I don't think we need the Gladewalker in here. It's going to be like one miss damage, but I, I don't think the one miss damage is going to matter. Glorified protect Protector? When it enters the battlefield, exile any number of non-angel creatures you control until it leaves the battlefield, and then it has Fortel. Ooh, yikes. Okay. That was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm going to play this just as a 2-2, two -two because it's... Uh, I don't know, it's just a good... 
Uh, it, it, we need to get three damage through anyways, so I don't like stacking it up on one thing, especially when he has the Glorious Protector seems like a bad, bad move. Uh, definitely, uh, I feel every game the best card we can draw is Maha. Uh, but she's she's lost to the wind. She's she's spending her time like knitting quilts. I don't even know if it's a she. I did not look close enough at the card right. They are uh, they're spending their time, uh, you know, knitting quilts, fabricating history. I don't know. I guess not fabricating, generating history, being a warrior unto themselves. Uh, this is still probably either a Demon Bolt or a Fortel or Iron Judgment. Both of which are, like, solid. Since they keep mousing over the Eyesight Troll, it, it feels like an Iron Judgment so hard. Raven form? That's fine. I'm okay with that. That reduces my team's power by one. Let's see, two, four. I can get them to one. But I need to force them to have the thing, right? Like, I can't just... The one missed damage from the Guardian Glade Walker ended up mattering. Or actually, no, it wouldn't have ended up mattering because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be doing two damage this turn. They would have killed the thing that had the counter on it. They go to one, I have three creatures, they have one blocker. They have three cards on hands. Why do I keep playing the fucking lands? Oh my god. Maha. Maha, it, I know your your cold brew is like really cool. Um but maybe come like hang out with us and like not, you know, twiddle your thumbs. Problem with this deck is it has no reach. Problem with every green white deck. This is what a my of the masses would be pretty good. No, my of the masses wouldn't even help here. My message just sucks. Oh wait, no, it makes all of them. It makes everything block. That's right. It would be amazing because the uh, we uh, I think we're just dead to the Cinder Heart Giant, like way before we actually like get to play. No blocks. I don't know what we can draw. Scry to uh, deal two damage to each creature. Anytime you can cast a sorcery. Okay, that's fine. They wouldn't have used that had we not, you know, had we blocked with everything. Oh, I played the planes out of my hand. God damn. We killed the Cinderheart Giant at the very least. Okay. What are our outs? Um, we live for like 30 turns and they get milled out? Question mark? Is that an out? Can we count that? That's a good chariot. If it resolves. We'll never get to crew it. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Getting counter spells out of their hands. I didn't even want that chariot. Uh, I think we're just dead at this point. Yeah. One more draw. Maybe it's a demon bolt. You never know. Ooh, replicating ring. Nope. Good game, man. Big Purbot got us. I don't know why I passed. I was just going to concede. Silver tier 4. I don't, that wouldn't change. My brain is cascading onto itself. Okay. Let's see if this is a long queue. Many said.
Okay, we ready? We ready? Back up, Bubby. This is a yikes for me. Uh, opponent goes first. This is even a good if we draw a land. We need to draw two before it's even playable. This hand's insane on the other hand, though. This Blizzard Brawl is not going to be very useful since we don't have any snow permanents. Oh, fuck. They go first. Oh, hey. They have weird old planes. And we got fucked because they played a 1-1 one, one for 1. Our Usher of the Fallen is dead. Dead on arrival. Man, that's super weird. Wow, that's uh. Dude, fuck yeah, I'll block that. I <laughs> think I'm not gonna trade. Okay. Draw any 3 drop. Any three drop in our entire deck will do. And then it's a uh, Legion's Judgment. No, it'd even be good because we could uh, Iron Judgment. There we go, we could foretell it. That's not a three drop, that's a land. Erxus I guess, like, they're playing white, so they probably don't have a lot of removal spells. You know what I mean? Rune of Sustenance, uh, Vigilance, Lifelink, Draw Card. Okay. Doesn't give vigilance, it gives lifelink. Chariot go. They're stuck on two lands, we're stuck on ten. Uh I'm feeling they're probably gonna win, even though we're about to like play bomb after bomb. Just cause they have a lot at their disposal and we do not have very much code spell center. Whenever we cast your second plus one plus one counter attack creature. They cast a second spell, we, like, can't deal with the spirit ever. Also, their deck seems to have a lot of, uh, one drops. Uh, Nurtron 8 is Skylar. Uh, so, uh, we, we share an arena account. <laughs> Maha, Birth of Guarded Protector. Yeah. This is a good start. Far way back in. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I was kind of expecting that. But, we still got an extra cat out of the deal. We've got three cats and we have Maha. They destroyed our, our little wheeled figurine. Another foretell. Yeah, this is not going great for our opponent. Ooh. We have a... Yeah. This is going bad for our opponent now. Officially. They are, uh, they are officially in the pits. Uh, yeah, I would like to exile that and get the thing back. Damn. One hit. Brain one. Three, six, nine, ten. Wait, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Math is hard. Five, ten, fifteen. Uh, thirteen. That doesn't do what I thought it did. I thought that anthem to my team. Oh, I can hit cancel before. Wow. Yeah. I both need to learn the arena sco uh, code and my uh, my thing. Anyways, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, plus 4, 13. They're still dead. Cool. Oh, shit. Clicked off. Playing the land so I get the token. In case they have... Uh, two arrows of judgment, I guess. Yeah. Good game. Bam. Moving on up.
I don't know the song. That was a successful first draft. Both our Mahas paid out. Or double Maha paid out. 